Hi there. Um, today I'd like to show you a really cool IBM demo project called World Factbook Dashboard. And it's actually a very neat, very visual way to see a whole bunch of data related to, uh, well, to the world. Um, demographic data, economic data, etc. all taken from the CIA World Factbook, I believe. And IBM just took this data and put it in a very nice, very visual form. So I just decided I'd better show you this over a video because screenshots would simply not do this justice. Okay, so uh, as you can see, we have three views here. And right now we're looking at the world map view. And I can uh, hover over a country and click it. And then I see a number of interesting stats. I can see um, the area, population, uh, gross domestic product, even subdivided. I got a couple of graphs here. This, for example, shows me uh, how much of Canada's gross domestic product uh, comes from uh, services. Apparently it's 72%. And I can click and rotate the graph a little bit to see it better. And this here tells me, surprise, that uh, in the United States there are a lot more people than in Canada. That's surprising, I know. Um, and now let me zoom back out here. How do I do that? Yeah, just click the map again and you zoom back out. At the bottom, obviously the colors mean something. And at the moment, the colors indicate population. We can have them indicate population growth, and which shows us there is a, a lot of growth here. Uh, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, and uh, less growth in the developed nations. Oh, Russia is actually negative. So is Kazakhstan. Um, moderate growth over in China. And what's interesting is that I can uh, play with this bar here and kind of tweak the colors. So for example, what if I want to see in, in um, I don't know, let's, let's just extend the medium range here. So I, for example, uh, so you can kind of, you know, zoom in visually on, on, on what's more important for you to see. What else? Uh, this, this button, I mean the neighborhood view, I mean, gives you a completely different graph where you can see, uh, here, let me show you without the neighborhood view. You just get a simple pie chart showing the gross domestic product. And with the neighborhood view, you can basically compare the gross domestic product and several other uh, variables with other countries, I believe. Uh, I gotta say, this is actually not a form of graph I know how to read. It's very impressive visually. I have no idea what it says. So you're welcome to enlighten me in the comments. Um, talk to me in sliders. You know, I understand the sliders. The sliders are simple. Okay, so um, Argentina is actually the fifth country in the world in population rank. I had no idea. That's interesting. Um, okay, so let's click it again. Oh, I think we can, I don't know. Maybe we can actually get city stats. Let's see. Click this little, no, won't go down to city level because uh, it's a data source thing, I believe. Um, okay, so that's that. Let's round it up with inflation. Where's the most inflation? By the way, you see this uh, toolbar just keeps the customizations we made before. So let me just try and bring it to where it was. Okay, so the countries of the world with the highest level of infl inflation, oh wow, 66% in Sudan. Iran. Wow, did you know that? There's a lot of inflation in Iran. Okay, so this is what this view shows us, just um, as a map. Good. Next view I'd like to show you is the um, OLAP view, which is actually a bar graph. And I actually set this up so you don't have to watch me uh, fiddle with the interface so much. And I wanted to answer a simple question. I wanted to know whether infant mortality rates are influenced by the country's regime. Okay, so here we got monarchies and here we got democracies and here we have the various continents uh, of the world. And as you can see, what's interesting is that uh, across the boards, actually in Africa, democracies suffer a higher infant mortality rate than, uh, than monarchies. I assume that's at least reported infant mortality rates. But in Asia, we have a different picture, which is more what I would expect, actually. But I don't know, maybe maybe I'm just prejudiced, whereby we can see... Uh, no, actually, I take that back. Actually, actually, monarchies 
according to this chart, seem to be doing better than democracies uh, when it comes to um, infant mortality rates. So I don't know, maybe it's a matter of uh, reporting, but still, it's, uh, it's an interesting um, answer and it's an interesting view. So, and also, surprisingly, there are no monarchies in Australia and in North America. That's surprising, I know. Um, so that's that. That's this view. You can, you know, you can, basically the whole thing is very drag and drop. That's just one thing I can uh, tell you. We can reset it. Just let me show you how I use it a little bit. I can just drop a clustering attribute. For example, what if I want to cluster by continent? Just drag it here. And then I want to categorize by, I don't know, let's drag um, government family over here. And then what I get instantly, I can see the... Um, this is actually residents. This is population sizes. So I can instantly, instantly see, for example, that in Asia, a lot more people live under uh, monarchy rule than uh, democracy. But what if I want to know, for example, um, wait, how do I do this? This should also, yeah. Okay, so that's population. But what if I want to know what's the GDP like in monarchies compared to democracies? So I just click this. And in the various areas of the world, this is very interesting because this shows me that actually monarchies are making far more money than uh, democracies, at least according to this, in Asia and in Europe and in Africa. Well, I assume uh, the UK is considered a monarchy here. I don't know for sure. It's an interesting question, actually. Um, but anyway... You get the picture. It's all very draggable, very droppable, etc. And I'll just reset the attributes. And now let me move on and show you the uh, last view we get, which is the um, tree map view, which is very neat. And this is probably familiar, at least it was familiar to me from uh, various uh, disk size calculation programs. So it's the same It's the same system. I can click a country, for example, uh, Belarus, and like in the world map, I can instantly see its uh, statistics. But what's nice is that I can tweak the size attribute to show, for example, okay, let's show population. So instantly we get a huge uh, square for China, large one for India, and I don't think you can even see Israel on this map. And we can have the size show, I don't know, let's have the size show the total gross domestic product. And so we can see, we can see the USA's GDP is larger than China's, but China is still definitely way up there and what if we show the population yeah we do show the population in color so uh, well quite obviously the the more densely populated countries tend to have larger gdps although there are uh you know there are uh, for example take uh the democratic republic of the congo which is 46 million people and they have a very very low gdp um, number 166 in uh, global rank. Um, so anyway, you get the idea. This is a very cool project and you can basically... Oh, this is, by the way, this lets me zoom in on um, on, a co on a continent. Which, okay, let's see Europe. Let's see if I can see. I don't think I can see. Okay, where's the UK here? You can, you probably, oh, there we go. I'm right over it, of course. Yeah, okay, so that explains the thing about monarchies in the in Europe because the UK, for example, is considered a monarchy, obviously. So that's why we got that picture that monarchies make more money than uh, democracies. I mean, that's part of the reason. But anyway, I could, I could keep on playing with this for hours because it's a really fun interface and you can very visually see lots of cool facts about lots of uh, interesting places in the world and as i said this is an ibm demo project and if uh, you read the info for this video or read my post about it over in download squad you can uh, get the link it's just a long link i can't uh, you know dictate it okay so thank you very much for watching Bye bye